Hi friends, are you tired of stamping greetings crooked on your cards? I'm here with two quick tips for how to line up your stamps almost all the time perfectly straight. Let's take a look at them. I'm making tip videos all week in honor of my new YouTube channel that I have started to respond to what's going on in the world around us. Friends, we need to respond and we need to do so positively. So there's a button gonna pop up here. Take a look, subscribe, please share those if you find them useful. I appreciate you watching along and helping me spread the word. Here are my two best tips for lining up your greeting stamps straight. And here is the first one. So I picked out this stamp in particular. Now, if you have clear stamps, those are gonna be easier to line up straight. If you have ones that are square, those are gonna be easier to line up straight. I picked up this one on purpose because it's not clear. And we have an odd shape around it. So it's harder to line up. Now, a lot of times I like to mount my stamps to blocks like this. I lay the stamp down, sticky side up, mount it like that. When it comes to greeting stamps, that is not the way I do it. And here is why. When I flip it over, it may not be straight. Now, it just so happens that I think this one looks like perfectly straight right now. I got lucky. Uh, but that definitely does not always happen. So here's what I do. I lay my block on my work surface and I look at the back of the stamp and I line up the words with the top edge of my block and I make sure it is words are straight with the top edge of the block. Now, if the top of the stamp is kind of wavy or different, you know, a different height on this side that is on this side, you have to ignore that and just look at the words. And now that I look at this, I think my words are going downhill a little bit. I'm gonna adjust slightly. That looks better to me. Now let's stamp. So I'm gonna stamp this once, and then I have one more tip I wanna share with you if you like to use your stamping platform instead. So when I'm stamping, now I just have to make sure that the top of my block is straight with the edge of my paper, okay? Look at that nice and straight. It doesn't always happen, but when I do what I just shared with you, it does, it works well. Okay, now let's do the same thing, but let's use our stamping platform. Now, these things are great for lining things up straight, for having a second chance to stamp if you need that. And here is how you, depending on how, how you're doing this, you may have your paper here and you can line it up. But what I suggest is now, here, I'll pick this up because I know I want it around there somewhere. Now I'm gonna look at this and make sure those words are straight with the grid line on my plate. And I can tell it's just a little bit crooked. I'm gonna line it up a little bit better. Let's bring our paper back in. We'll ink it up. And stamp. Perfectly straight, right? So hopefully this helps you. Just a little bit more about this new YouTube channel I've started. It's called Life with Anna Hellman. Please look it up. Take a look, friends. Do I wanna talk about what's going on in the world? Not at all, but it is time that some of us, all of us step up and respond. Do you feel silenced? Do you feel like there's nobody left in this world like you? Do you feel like people with your opinions are supposed to sit down and keep your mouth shut while the crazies are running away with this country that means so very much to us and the rest of the world? Like, friends, we are the protectors of the world. We have achieved such amazing freedoms, liberties, and prosperity that we have been able to share that with the rest of the world. And when people in other parts of the world are being mistreated, we stand up for them, right? We protect them. Friends, we have to protect ourselves right now so that we can keep being the protector of the world. We can stand up and we can respond and there are things we can do. Watch along, join me on my other channel, Life with Anna Hellman. Appreciate you and I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.